welcome. This is Felicia Slattery, and I am the creator and your host of the Effective Communications Giveaway dot com, Effective Communications Giveaway dot com, and this podcast series is all about helping small and home based business owners to more effectively communicate your messages. My guest today works for a company called Corporate Disc Company, and I'm honored to have him here with us today. Not only as one of our experts in the giveaway event, but also as a sponsor. His name is Joe Foley, and Joe has been with the company since its inception at the very, very beginning, many years. I think it was back in 1983. Is that right, Joe? 84, actually. Oh, my memory. (laughs) That was a long time ago. And it was a company that I actually had worked for for a while, so I know Joe real well. I know Disc.com real well. Joe, welcome to the podcast. Well, thanks, Felicia. It's great to be here. I'm very excited. Awesome. Well, we are here, and in this podcast series, as you know, we're answering one big question. So I'm going to ask you what that question is, and we'll go for some great info. I'd like to know, what is your number one best tip for business owners and entrepreneurs to effectively communicate their messages? Well, I love that question, and the reason is because I really have just one thing that I concentrate on in every type of communication I make and the type of communication I make. And that that tip would be, I think the most important thing you can do in communication is to keep your message simple because that increases the, the odds dramatically that, that your message will be understood. I wasn't, uh, you know, real thrilled with uh, school growing up, but I did really enjoy an interpersonal communication class I had when I was younger, and it taught me this uh, really great thing, and and that is that communication is not really effective unless the recipient receives the exact message that you intended to send. And I, I think about that all the all the time because there's there's a lot of times where you you tell somebody ex, ex, your exact message, but they just don't get it. And uh, you know the the onus of that uh, falls on you because it's it's your job as the communicator to to make sure that your message is received. So that's my simple tip. That is, you know, great. That is awesome, Joe, because, as you know, I used to teach interpersonal communication at the collegiate level, and that is one of the big important messages that I used to share with my students all the time is if you don't, if you don't get that message across, then really effective communication hasn't occurred. And it is on you, isn't it, as the communicator to get that message out there. I really love that. I've Joe, used it as, um, you know, in, as far as being a, being a leader of a company, it's important. Uh, we use it in our in our marketing. I try to train our salespeople to to make sure that uh, our clients and prospects are are receiving the the message that we really intended. So that's awesome. it. Definitely applies. Now, Joe, you've been in a number of different leadership positions there at Disc dot com. What are you doing right now? Well, um, right now I'm I'm responsible. Uh, I gave myself a new title, and I'm calling myself the Client Expectations Manager. Okay, <laughs> isn't that fun when you when you're running? Right now I'm I'm responsible. Uh, I gave myself a new title, and I'm calling myself the Client Expectations Manager. Okay. <laughs> Isn't that fun when you when you're running the show you can call yourself whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. And I really li- I really like that one because that that's honestly what I care about. All all I want to do is uh help the clients and I want to make sure that we're doing everything we possibly can to to meet or exceed their expectations. So so I love that responsibility. Awesome. That is great. And uh, then people can find out more about you and your company. What's your website that you'd like people to go and visit? Please go to disc.com, and that's D-I-S-K dot com. All right. And what are the kinds of things that you do there at disc.com? Because I know there are just a lot of things that uh, that you guys cover and, and can do for people who are running businesses, small businesses or businesses out of their homes. Well, we do have an um, incredible variety of, of services, but they, they all really uh, revolve around um, 
CDs and DVDs, and then we do all the digital printing. So we can do a, uh, for an author or speaker, uh, we could do a small quantity uh, book. We can print um, newsletters, uh, direct mail pieces. Um, uh, the real bulk of our business is the, the manufacturing of the CDs and DVDs. So we make a lot of information marketing products. And uh, then we do the fulfillment um, right out of our uh, one location where we have everything under under one roof. So we're we're currently shipping out uh, um, close to ten thousand information marketing products every day. Wow! So, so we're That's keeping awesome. busy. That's awesome. Cool. So if I wanted to turn this podcast series into a CD, I certainly could do that. And you would take care of producing those CDs, and you'd even send them out if I wanted you to do that too, right? Yeah, that would, that would be so easy. I would, I would just ask you to, uh, you know, send me a MP3 file so you wouldn't even have to to leave your office. Uh, send me the link, and then uh, I would I would take that and I would make it into uh, CD audio, which is the the best way to have uh, the audio formatted so that it will work in, uh, you know, all the old fashioned uh, uh, stereos and car stereos and works on computers and. Uh, so basically the CD will work anywhere because I know I've anywhere. tried to record like a, a CDR in my computer and I've given it to people and they said, well, it'll work when I put it in my computer, but I can't hear it in my car. And I'm thinking, oh, it's because I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what you're doing. And so your CDs will play for anywhere, anyone, anywhere, just like they're supposed to. Every time, yep. Yeah. And then we do. Awesome. We have some incredible uh, printing uh, talent so we can make them look really nice. And then we have some stock packaging options, uh, which are especially uh, attractive if you're starting out with a smaller quantity. And uh, we don't have any any rules. Uh, we're, we can make any quantity for anybody. And uh, we always know that uh, even if they start with a small order, that they'll ev eventually want to reorder, and then the quantities will get bigger and bigger. So awesome. We're, we're so if you want to, to communicate your message, simply – and you've got it, and you want to distribute it and make a physical product out of it, people can go to disc.com and have that done there. Awesome. Now, Joe, you are, in addition to being a sponsor, which I want to publicly say thank you so much for being a sponsor of our Effective Communications Giveaway.com event, but also you are one of our experts, having been in business for as long as you have and, and employing as many employees as you have and being just a, a, a really wonderful business success story. I know you've got some great information to share with folks. Tell everybody, what is your giveaway at our EffectiveCommunicationsGiveaway.com event? Well, I'm excited to give away a CD, but, which isn't really that cool. But the cool part about it is what I did is I went and interviewed uh, four of my terrific clients. And I asked them uh, about some current trends. You know, this is a, a brand new uh, CD that I made, and I have about two hours of uh, uh, really good content. And what I did is I interviewed uh, some terrific uh, information marketers: uh, Mike Filsame, uh Ryan Lee. He's known as the Continuity King. Does a lot of newsletters. Uh, Greg Habstrit. He's an incredible. Uh, thought leader, and he even had an event where the Dalai Lama uh, was a speaker, and Richard Branson. So these are great guys. And then uh, my largest client, Jesse Canone, he runs an incredible uh, business, uh, LoseTheBackPain.com. And uh, these guys are so smart, and uh, so I thought the best thing I could do is talk to some of my smart clients. And they have some really great insights in marketing and communication that I think everybody will want a copy of it. And I'm happy awesome. to just send it right out. All you have to do is uh, give me your address and it will come right over to you. Perfect. And you can get that CD absolutely free with uh, Joe's interviews with those four experts. And you can pick that up by visiting Effective Communications, with an S, giveaway.com. And you can click on Joe's giveaway and uh, go over to disc.com. It'll, it'll, it'll direct you right exactly to the place where you can sign up to get that, to get that CD. So make sure you visit Effective Communications, giveaway.com. And then you can click on Joe's link and get that awesome 
CD. Thank you so much, Joe. I am really glad that you were able to be here, and thank you so much for being a trooper. I know you're not feeling well. You've got that sinus thing going on. That's never fun. So thanks so much for being here and being a trooper. And My uh, once pleasure. Again, <laughs> Once again, thanks for being a sponsor of the event. It's going great. We're having a wonderful month here in June for EffectiveCommunicationsGiveaway.com. My name is Felicia Slattery. Visit our site and keep your ears open for our next podcast coming soon. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. 